a, a nano type espresso maker where all you got to bring is this and some coffee grounds that I love because you can make about four cups of espresso from this with even heating the water. It has its own water healing, heating element. So I'm going to walk you through making a cup of coffee out here camping in the wilderness. So the Outin is a self-contained system. You charge it on the back here through USB and you open up here. This is where you put your water when you're heating the water. And then down on this end, they give you this cup for drinking. I'm gonna use a clear glass just so you can see it a little better. And then here you've got the option for putting your own grounds in right there, or they have one for a pod as well that you can use, but we're gonna use our own grounds today. It comes with its own little scooper, but I think I'm gonna lose a lot of it when I put it in, that's okay. You can use it to tamp down just like that. You put your top on to seal it, kind of got your own little pod here. Put it in there. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you seal this really well so that no water or pressure comes out because this goes up to 20 bars. So you wanna make sure that's nice and sealed. I'm not gonna fill this cup, I'm gonna fill this one, but just for right now to fill it up and let it run, we're gonna put it in its original cup. Room temperature water will take about four minutes, but if you heat the water up beforehand, it can be faster than that. So we're gonna have to jump forward in time once I start this. So I'm not sure you can see these here, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold it down and we got one beep. And now we've got one light going. So we're gonna let it sit here. It's gonna beep at us when it's time, when it's heated up and ready to go. And we'll transfer it over to this and see how it fills. All right, there's our beep. Oh, you can hear it running. Let's set it right in our glass like that. Watch it fill up. So like I said, this goes to 20 bars and does make kind of that milky froth, which is pretty sweet. This is looking great. This is just a basic espresso ground. You're gonna wanna do an espresso ground or like a real fine ground because you don't, okay, looks like it might be getting to the end. It's just like making regular espresso, so you want the right grind for it. Okay, there it goes. I'm gonna put it over my cup here so that it drips into there. And now here we go, we got this. Let me see if I can get you up close. We've got, man, good little froth on it. Oh. Mmm, rich, really rich. I think using this over a pod, oh, has some good flavor compared to a pod, but that that is pretty nice. This is the pod holder that comes with it and it just goes right in there. It punctures it and does everything for you as well. I'll put a link down below so you can check one out yourself.